What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. I ordered a bunch of cigars and it all came and I am smoking, I'm smoking this PH Puros Huerfanos from Drew Estate. It's a Churchill. I think it's seven by 48. And I think it should taste good. This week, we're gonna talk about what makes a cigar, right? And uh, I know we all know about the wrapper, the binder, and the filler, but what really does make the cigar? We all know that they all come in different sizes, uh, lengths, and we all know the part of the cigar, the foot, the head, there should be a cap in there somewhere, the band, and the body of the cigar, right? If you don't know, now you know. Really, cigars are made differently from different places, and especially, you should know that the cigar plant itself have, are used for different parts of the cigar. And along with that, that's why you have different wrappers that come from different places because there's, a, uh, there's an importance in that, right? You know, a typical plant, they don't use from top to bottom all the same because a typical tobacco plant has like three kind of common places where they harvest the cigar. So the very bottom one uh, is called the Vilago and uh, that's closer to the soil, doesn't get a lot of sun. Um, so it's harder and tougher leaf. And then you get the Seco right in the middle of that. Uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit harder, but also th it's thinner and harder. Uh, gets a little sun and then the top is the Liguero which is which is the top that gets all the sun gets all the nutrients and really kind of the most flavorful of all the cigars but that's not that easy though right um, there are within those little areas um, there's different types of usage so In my quest to find my favorite cigar, I go to I go to lengths of finding out what cigar is made of, and because there are cigars out there that are different, obviously, and uh, eventually I'll hone into maybe one or two that I'm going to smoke uh, for a long time. So this Puro Sorfano is supposed to be expensive, uh, but, the first, uh, the, but the first puff is very spicy. And I think I cut it too deep into the, the cap there. It's supposed to be just a little bit because I messed up the, messed up the uh, wrapper right there. <coughs> but it smells good. It's just very peppery. If you look behind me here, I'm somewhere like five minutes away from my home. I didn't want to do it in my backyard today because people are working in my backyard. So I just want to make sure that I do a video while I'm smoking a cigar and enjoying it. So again, three parts of the cigar from the top is the Liguero, the middle is the Seco, and then the bottom is the Volado. Uh, I might mess that up, so I'm going to take a look, quick look real quick here. So when it comes to the actual cigar, what is used as the wrapper? Well, I can tell you that most of the... Uh, so in a makeup of a cigar, starting from the outside, well, I guess we'll start, yeah, we'll start from the outside, the wrapper. What part of the cigar plant do they use for the wrapper? 
Well, the wrapper actually is the most good looking, right, of the cigar because you want it to be visually appealing. It doesn't really have a lot of taste to it. Um, according to the Cubans, they argue that the taste should come from the filler of the cigar, but a lot of cigar smokers um, can argue that the taste is on the wrapper and, and the filler, right? I, I think it's on the wrapper, you know, the, the bitterness, the, the uh, peppery, because it's the first thing that kind of hits your tongue and your mouth and that provides the, uh, the taste that way. But the wrapper is taking, taken from between the volado and the seco, somewhere in between there, uh, because they, they want to make sure that um, they have a thin leaf, but tough, right, to hold to be the wrapper. But that's not the one that holds it, obviously. The binder gets its name from being binder, being binding, because it is a tougher leaf uh, that binds everything together. Uh, believe it or not, the, the wrapper is thinner than the binder most of the time. So the wrapper, the wrapper leaf is somewhere in between the seco and the volado. What about the binder? The binder leaf probably is taken much lower into the plant uh, because it needs to be tough. It doesn't have to be uh, tasty, right? It just needs to hold the, the cigar together. So it's more close to the volado. Now, the inside of the cigar, the filler, are a combination of different cigars, the, uh, different plants, different parts of the tobacco plant. As we know that the most potent of the tobacco plant is towards the top where it gets a lot of sun, gets a lot of en uh, energy, nutrients, so that's the most potent and they use that to be almost in the middle of the, cig of the cigar, right? And then as they go down, you know, um, Ligero and Seco is used towards the outside of the filler because those kind of burn so much better. Less taste but burn so much better. So that's kind of the generalization uh, makeup of a cigar. I'm sure that there's other very technical way of doing things. Um, but the reason why, and I talked about in my other video, the reason why cigars taste different is because of the nature of its environment, right? The soil, the richness of the soil, the weather, the climate, the nutrients, you know, does it get direct sunlight? When it, once it's harvested, you know, they take good care of the process of fermenting cigars and each of the process are a little bit different for the wrapper, a little bit different for the binder, and of course a little bit different for the filler. Premium cigars, longer cigars, are pretty much um, hand rolled because you know the longer leaf you can hand roll to premium cigars, and the much shorter cigars sometimes the fillers are like a combination of leftover things, right? So that is again a generalization. There are shorter cigars that are very good, uh, but regardless, if the filler is not premium or long cut uh, and it's short cut. Uh, it all depends on the leaf and where it comes from and how it's grown and how it's taken care of, ferment, fermented and things like that. So anyways, that is the makeup of a cigar. You know, like I said, in my quest for finding out the best cigars that I want to smoke all the time, then I've had to you know, read books, read articles, um, and there's, there are a few resources out there that are very, very good that explains very well what the makeup of the cigar is. But more to follow down the road. For now, that's what I have for you. I hope you have a good day. Stay healthy. I'll enjoy my cigar. Talk to you later.